What up YouTube, this is Supercharged iOS, and this is an unboxing and setup of the little black box. Now this is a Linux box, and those of you who don't know, XPMC works best on Linux. It's absolutely flawless, pretty much, and it just outdoes any other operating system. And this box was developed specifically for XBMC on the Linux platform. So this box should work really good. And let's go ahead and unbox it and check it out. And there you go, this is what you, what you get. First thing, change the way you watch TV forever. And that is so true. And here's the device, wrapped up all nice and neat. And it's about the same size as most uh, TV boxes. It's really thin. I find it's a little thinner than some of the others. And it feels made really well. You got one Ethernet output, one HDMI output, one power output. And on the other side over here, you have two additional USB outs. On the front, yeah, you have a power button. So let's put that aside and see what else we have in the box. And this is the remote control, which from the way it looks, looks like it's going to be very, very helpful. You can see it's wrapped up really well. And I'm really liking the way this remote is designed. You can see the buttons. I'll turn to the side and show you what I mean. The buttons are kind of pushed in like. So it's real smooth. And it's a great feel, great design. And of course, on the back, it gets even better. There's a full keyboard so that you can quickly type in those titles on XBMC and find whatever it is you want to watch. And this remote takes two AAA batteries, which are included in the box. And to put them in, you just flip the remote over where it says the little black box right on the other side. You just do that and they go right there and you're good to go. All right, so let's see what else is included in the box. This looks like a three foot or four foot HDMI cord. So that's pretty cool they included that. Not a lot of devices do that. And this is the power adapter to power the device. And this is each one of the adapters for each part of the world that uses different power sockets than we do in the U.S. So that's really uh, you know convenient for those of you who live overseas. All right, so let's get this device hooked up. All right, so we've got the little black box set up. There's the power cable and the HDMI, which is all you'll need, and the remote control. The next step is pairing the remote control with the device. So to do that, you're going to need to hold numbers 1 and 9 on the remote keypad right there. Hold 1 and 9 while the remote is pointed at the front of the box. And you hold them for maybe 4 or 5 seconds, and you're going to see this light start to flash. Just continue holding them, and then the light will stop flashing and the remote will be synced with the device. And now that the remote control is paired correctly with the little black box, you can go to screen setup and adjust your screen the way you want it to be. And so you want to just make those squares, the edges of it, even with the lines. So I just need to move mine to the right just a little. And there you go, all done. When you're finished, you just hit the back button on the remote control and you move on to the next step which is your Wi-Fi. You go ahead and select that and get your network all set up and a quick tip when you're setting up your Wi-Fi when you're done entering your password just hit this enter button right here don't navigate to the done uh, icon on the keyboard on screen because that won't work you need to use the enter button right here on the back of the remote on the keyboard side and once you get your Wi-Fi network set up You'll be able to select whatever region you're in and get the content that's based on your location. Now, 
depending on where you're at, you might not want to just go ahead and choose whichever location you feel like watching content from because it may or may not be legal in the specific area that you're in. And there we go. The little black box is now finished loading the content from my location. And it took about a minute and a half to two minutes total to download and install all the content. And here's the home screen of the XBMC. And this is specific to the little black box. No other device in the world is going to look like this. And I got to say, it looks really nice and it works really smooth. Like, I mean, you don't see any lag or any problems at all. So the way you're going to get to your video add-ons and things like that, you just need to go to TV shows or movies. Let's go ahead and click on TV shows. And then you just go to video add-ons, select that. And depending on which area in the world you're in, we're in the United States, and so these are the add-ons that were loaded up whenever we chose United States. I'm not sure, depending on whichever other area you may be in, it may load up different add-ons. But I went ahead and configured YouTube and got it all set up. All right, so now that my videos are loaded up, let's go ahead and check out one of them. Let's check out the iPad Air video. Now, I've got the sound turned down, but the sound does work just fine. And I have it configured where I can choose whatever configuration I want so I'm going to go ahead and choose 720p and you can see that there was no lag when the video started up it started up with no problem no buffering none of that so let's go ahead and let the video play on a little more I'll go ahead and fast forward a little bit you can see it continues to fast forward until you press play it's a great feature pause it like that play it no problem. It takes just a couple of a second or two to catch back on, but now it caught on perfectly. No problem at all. Great quality. And I'll go ahead and show you that when you press the info button, it brings up all the information right in the video. So you can kind of continue to watch the video while you check out the info, which you can't do normally on XBMC. So that's, I'm really liking that feature. And that'll work obviously across the board with all plugins that you have installed. So I'll go ahead and stop this video for right now. And then I'll head on back to the home screen. So this device is really good. I'm liking how smooth it is. And there's no lag, no problems at all. And I'm really liking this device, so I'm going to be starting a whole playlist specifically for the little black box. It's going to show you how to install One Channel, Ice Films, Mashup, and all the most popular add-ons, including the Talk Wizard, as well as the XPMC Hub Wizard. I'd like to thank the little black box NA.com for sending me this device. If you're interested in purchasing the little black box, there'll be a link to their website in the description just below. This is Supercharged iOS. This was an unboxing, setup, as well as my first impression of the little black box. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Please like my page at facebook.com forward slash charged iOS. Also follow me at twitter.com forward slash charged iOS. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Peace.